let's look at some of the other features, some things that'll make your life a little bit easier. First one is OptiVoice. So on the Juno screen, go to the settings wheel and you'll get the first one is OptiVoice. I have mine set on low, but when you need an additional emphasis on consonants, perhaps when you're doing a spelling test or some reading assignment, you can turn it to high and that will give it a bit of a tinnier sound, but it's actually accenting those high frequencies, which makes it even, even better uh, for students to hear more clearly. Adults might hear the tinniness, but the kids won't. They'll appreciate it. Uh, perhaps if you have a lot of HVAC in your room, then you might want to have it to medium or high. So that's OptiVoice. Back to the second feature of Priority. Priority is wonderful in that it always keeps you in charge. So if you have uh, music going or media playing um, and you have Priority on, as soon as you begin to speak, it automatically ducks the music or the audio. Same is true for a student mic. So if a student has their mic going and you have Priority on, you automatically override them completely. So you win every shouting match. That is Priority I actually do uh, encourage you to keep it off um, when you're doing an async a synchronous version like with Zoom because once you speak rather you'll mute them and sometimes you'll cut off a question they have so have make sure it's off then and then finally is a uh, voice commands I have it set to be on that's that's the default voice commands allow you to increase and reduce your volume so I press and hold my button reduce so that's how you increase and reduce your your volume Another command is uh, to lock your Juno screen. You say, press and hold the button and say LCD, and then do the same thing again, LCD, and you lock and unlock your Juno screen. Keep prying fingers away from it. Um, the same is true for lesson capture. So when you're creating a, a lesson capture, you would just press and hold and say, begin. You'll get your countdown screen. Uh, it'll go red, and off you go recording. You don't even have to go back to your computer. You can press and hold and say suspend. You'll get a flashing light, uh, and then you can press and say finish, and that will stop the recording and automatically uh, drop it onto your Google Drive. So voice command allows you just to be roaming around the room and not even have to, to move around uh, for that convenience. So a few more miscellaneous Juno settings back to the screen. The music button, press that down and you'll get actually device volumes and you can change those. The different, if you have a, a DVD player plugged in, uh, your computer plugged in, there's different device volumes you can change here. You might not have to use that very much. The microphone volumes, like I said, up to five microphones. And what that is, I have mine set uh, right now on its channel A and it's just set at normally at eight. So you can just play with that and see what you see what you prefer. And then finally, this in the middle, uh, there is an, an overall mute button, play button in the Juno. Um, last thing I want to talk about uh, on the settings is a piece of software that you can download from our website at gofrontrow.com in the resources section is called the microphone settings piece of software. So you really probably won't need this. The two things that it will do for you, and maybe this would be your IT group that does this, is change, um, change the setting, the, the, essentially the power of your microphone. So it will, if you need more battery life, will reduce the infrared power so we can adjust it that way. Perhaps if you're teaching in a gym and you don't want bleed over with your uh, teachers next to you, will increase the battery life and will reduce the infrared power. Conversely, if you need more battery power, we can reduce the, um, the infrared power. So that's done with this software. The second thing you can do with it is rename your microphone. So if you have a bunch of them, if you're doing group, a lot of group learning and you have four student mics, you can rename them accordingly. So, so after you're done uh, changing the settings for your mic, the battery power and naming the mics, um, that's really all that software does. So since Front Row got its start with special needs students years ago, all of our products come with native support for PFM devices. So if any of your students have cochlear implants, hearing aids, it's very simple to to connect in those receivers into the side of the Juno and the audio out you might need a second splitter if you've got one splitter that's being used already for uh, for zoom and that second splitter would be used to connect that student um, receiver 
And then that way the teacher doesn't have to wear two mics. So it's just the same sing the single Juno mic. Her voice comes through the Juno and gets sent to that student uh, to their hearing aid. It also means that that student uh, can hear all of the media audio, um, music, anything perfectly as well. And if you're using student mics, they can hear the other students better than they ever have before. So that pretty much wraps up our uh, basic and advanced Juno training. Uh, if you have any questions, let your local reseller know and they can get it to us. Of course, the, on, on the screen here is the reseller uh, resource page. So lots and lots of resources for you, including training videos, uh, just all manner of things. You can go visit that. But I want to say thank you and congratulations on uh, use of the Juno and I hope it really makes your life a lot better. Thanks.